द परफेक्ट काउची और लॉरेंसियन कर्व फिटिंग इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल कर्व फिटिंग इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टिंग अ कर्व और मैथमेटिकल फंक्शन दैट हैज द बेस्ट फिट टू अ सीरीज ऑफ डाटा फिटेड कर्व कैन बी यूज एज एन एड फॉर डाटा विजुअलाइजेशन टू कंक्लूड वैल्यूज ऑफ अ फंक्शन वेर नो डाटा आर अवेलेबल एंड टू समराइज द रिलेशनशिप अमॉन्ग टू और मोर वेरिएबल्स द इक्वेशन फॉर कैचिंग और लॉरेंसियन कर्व इज वाई इज इक्वल्स टू आई डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस एक्स माइनस ए डिवाइड बाय गैमा द होल स्क्वायर वेर आई इज द इंटेंसिटी ए इज द पोजिशन एंड गैमा इज द स्केल पैरामीटर सो लेट्स ट्राई अ कर्व फिट फॉर द लॉरेंशियन और कैची कर्व सो वी हैव वन डाटा विथ एक्स एंड वाई पैरामीटर्स लेट्स प्लॉट अ स्कैटर्ड कर्व ग्राफ सो यू कैन सी द ग्राफ लुक्स क्वाइट बेटर इन the graph is having very good shape of the catchy or laurentian peak so let me adjust its formatting so so i will take the red colored points and it will show something like this okay now as per the equation y is equals to i divided by 1 plus x minus a gamma the whole square we need three variables which are i that is intensity a is the position and gamma is the scale parameter so let's assume the value of i a and gamma is 1 and then we can calculate with the help of the equation the value of fit or calculated values so we can write the equation as j1 divided by 1 plus a a2 minus j2 divided by j3 the whole square again the value of j should not change as we proceed in the number of word in the columns so i will put the dollar sign in front of j and 1 so now let's drag this equation so it becomes so it will calculate for all the value of x now we can plot this data on the same graph with a name as fit and x value is the x and y value is the calculated values so you can see this orange colored dots are because of this fit values now let's try to this now seems as a straight line because the value of i a and gamma is very low so let's try to manually adjust the value of i a and gamma so that we can see the shape of the curve so the value of i maybe 60 maybe a maybe 45 and gamma maybe 3 so next column is g square g square is the square of deviation that means square of difference between the actual value and calculated value so b2 minus c2 the whole square and now let's drag this so that it can calculate for each each value of y and finally the sum g square is the sum of all the values of g square so we will put so we will put sum of d and d so at last we can use the solver uh, add ins so that we can fit the data in this case we have to select target cell as the sum g square then equals to minimum value and then we can select the variables i a and gamma and then just press the solve button and it will try to adjust the value of i a and gamma so that it can minimize the value of sum g square and it will try to fit the curve with the given data so now you can see it has changed the value of i a and gamma and now the graph is matching perfectly with the given data similarly we can use the same method so that we can fit multiple peaks in the same graph for example we have this data of x and y which is having almost three peaks three laurentian peaks which can be fitted with the three different laurentian components so let's plot this graph and try to change the look of this graph okay now now we can see there are three peaks so we will put the values so we will use three columns for peak 1 peak 2 and peak 3 
and similarly we need variable for three peaks so peak 1 peak 2 peak 3 and variables are i a and gamma so let's put for all the three peaks let the value of variable for peak 1 is 1 1 1 for peak 2 is 2 2 2 and for peak 3 is 3 3 3 now i will again put the same formula for peak 1 which we have used for the fit in the previous example so j2 divided by 1 plus a2 minus j3 divided by j4 the whole square and also uh, don't forget to put the dollar sign in front of j columns so it will be adding this now drag this cell so that it can calculate for all the value of x let's plot this data also on the same graph and let me modify its look to green colored line the it is not visible because now the value of value of i a and gamma for peak 1 is very low so manually let's try to adjust this so that we can see we can see the shape of the curve so it's 70 22 or whatever is that now i will again put the formula for the peak 2 in the similar way and drag it to calculate for each columns and then plot it on the same graph let's modify this to a blue colored line and then try to adjust the initial values of variables in peak 2 so that we can see the peak okay and then similarly we will repeat the process for the third peak and let's put this peak as a purple colored line okay now we can adjust a little bit about the peak 3 and finally the fit is the sum of the values of peak 1 peak 2 and peak 3 so fit can be given as sum of c2 to e2 so this will give and let's drag this so that it will fill all the data and then the last column that is g square g square is the g square is the square of deviations so b2 minus f2 the whole square so it will calculate square of the deviation and the last one is sum of g square which is sum of all the values of g square now we can use the solver add in again so that we can fit the data so in this case we can select target cell as sum of g square and the variables and it should be minimized and the variables we will select maybe all the three variables all the variables from all the three peaks so let's select all one two and three and then click on solve button so now it is it has solved all the equation so now you can see that green blue and purple lines have been shifted and it is now matching with the given data there is a small gap between this red and uh, blue and green gap line but when we sum these two peaks it will match with this which can be seen if we plot the fitted data on the same graph so let's plot that also so if we can plot the fitted data and let's convert it into black colored line so you can see now this black color line is exactly matching with the red color data so our fit is quite perfect you can also change the look of this curve
and if you like this video please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel please don't forget to press the bell icon and now you can also get my lecture notes from chapekmedia.co.nf